you can spit acid on him if you want to. How I'm doing the family that's tough. <sighs> it's been like almost two weeks. I know. First things first. Appreciate y'all. For the congratulations to my youngest daughter. Yeah, she graduated kindergarten. Yeah, me. But, yeah, been dealing with positive things. Not nothing negative, you know what I'm saying? But had to take that time to handle biz. But of course, I'm back. Um, we still on this up church versus screw face battle. And so, who was it? I want to say it was Chris Chandler. Chris Chandler. Of course, my boy jumped in here a few weeks ago and told me, check this out before I even continue. So without further ado, let's see what happened before this next round began. Listen, bro, there's a line between looking, <laughs> there's a, f there's a really thick line, honestly, between looking like shit and looking like a good sport. And I don't know why you're so far on one side, homie. Listen. Right now, this is artist to artist, bro. This ain't no fucking white guy to black guy, redneck to hood guy, or anything like that. This That's all stupid as fuck. Listen. <clears throat> we, uh, we as artists and entertainers, bro, it is our job to show these people and tell these people that watch our stuff. Because, listen, bro, you got to keep in mind, these aren't just people our age. These are people older than us that are wiser than us. Facts. And these are people that are younger than us that aren't as wise as us. Okay? Facts. So, <laughs> now listen, I didn't, I didn't know that <laughs> the battle was going to be like this. I'm going to be completely honest. I, I don't think you're a bad rapper. I really don't. That's a spit. That's a spit. You have a badass attitude, bro. You're not a bad rapper. You just have a bad fucking attitude, man. And you know that's not that's not a good way to portray yourself to the younger ones. And it's not a good way to portray yourself as to the older ones. I mean dog, like, yes. We're here's what here's what you gotta understand. We're literally fighting, and I said literally. We're literally fighting with letters and words. Right. Okay. Letters and words. Let me get this clear. So it sounds to me as if, first of respect to church, he letting it be known it's a battle, bro. So it sounds like somebody taking this overboard. I ain't gonna make an assumption, but <sighs> just based off of how the battle's going so far, I can only make a, a great assumption. So, bro, your brother is online right now, telling people f their grandma, f their 
mama, F their hey, this, yo. F their that, F this white boy, F this this, bro. I I have black and white fans. You have black and white fans. Me saying the shit that I said to you was not me taking up for any race in particular, homie. I'm taking up for people. I'm taking up for the white people you're talking shit about. And I'm taking up for the black people you're talking shit about. These are people, dude. These are motherfuckers that pull over and help you change your tire. These are motherfuckers that sell you stuff at the gas station. These are people who deliver your motherfucking pizza. These are people who do shit for you. Now, I know you might not think... You might say, oh, well, I mean, you know, what do they really do for me? Motherfucker, we all exist in this world to fucking help each other in some way or fashion. Now, listen, I know there's going to be people out there that fucking troll and shit. I'm a troll. But there's a difference between being a troll for entertainment and being a troll because you absolutely fucking hate somebody. (laughs) See what I'm saying? Bro, I got your brother so goddamn mad last night by calling him witch granny, bro. Witch granny. Boy, I know the fuck you lying. Witch granny? <laughs> Boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tweaking. Tweaking. Witch granny? What? It's not even an insult. But, I mean, personally to me, I wouldn't take that offensive, but... I don't know. Your big ass, muscly ass, motherfucking meathead brother. Not me, dude. Is on the internet saying, F your grandma, F your mama, F this. Because I called him witch granny, bro. It's not even an insult. Do you know how fucking stupid that sounds? It does. I took two words. Put them together. That are separate as fuck and mean separate things, and I put them together, <laughs> and I put old in the beginning, and called him old witch granny, and that dude, he went fucking berserk. Wait, 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 wait. All right, so I'm not gonna lie to y'all. So it was one of the videos I did peep, and I knew it was in Screwface at church. Let me know in the comments. Was that his brother that tried to diss church at the end of the, all this? Because if so, I'm just going to say this off the strength. That shit was whack. I, anyway, anyway. You. 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 We're going to get on topic of you now. Bro. You're a good rapper. Yeah, he You're is. not a good battle rapper, bro. You're good at making songs. I've listened to your songs. <laughs> They're good. Your diss tracks suck fucking camel nuts, bro. I'm not... And listen, I'm not saying this being like, oh, I'm the bestest there ever was. Bro, I'm not the best there ever was. I'm not gonna be the best there ever was. But you know what I'm gonna be? The only motherfucking up church. The only fucking redneck motherfucker from the middle of Tennessee that can throw words at you like a motherfucking gallon gun. That, that's me. That, I mean, you can't say it ain't. But I'm not the best rapper in the world, fool. I, my catalog, I listen to all kind of rappers, dog. I'm the same age as you, fool. How are you going to tell me and all these other people we don't know hip-hop? I live in Tennessee, motherfucker. Nashville, Tennessee. Do you know what's next door to me? Memphis, Tennessee. Do you know what's on the other the other next door of me? Atlanta, fucking Georgia, fool. The hip hop capital. Hands down. Young Jeezy. Gucci Man. Facts. Yo Gotti. Facts. Plies. Facts. Plies from Florida. With f- f- still Yellow facts. Wolf. Yep. Young Buck. Facts. I mean, dude, come on, fool. I'm not saying this to get under your skin. 
anybody out there, I mean, even, listen, that neuro, that neuroscientist dude who does the YouTube videos, go get him. Tell him to evaluate this video. I'm not doing this to get under your skin. I'm not doing this for any reason. I, I'm doing it for the fact that you really need to hear this. I mean, to be honest, the only reason I'm getting on here and saying this shit is because, <laughs> I mean, you're not going to believe it, but I actually give a fuck about your career. Even though right now it seems like you don't give a fuck about your career. As an artist and a love for writing songs for all the people out here in the world that listen to our stuff and they listen to it for advice, they listen to it for, you know, to change their mood, bro, they don't want to see you doing this. And listen, I know you're going to want to, but you can't say that I'm doing the same shit. Because I'm not. I'm replying to you picking at me, bro. What? And, and I know what your other argument's going to be. He well, defends himself. I just don't understand what you're doing because, because I mean, you're like, you're way bigger. Why are you coming down here? Bro, do you know how, I mean, it's not like the early 2000s no more, fool. The bottom has gotten way fucking bigger. Yes. It used to, it used to be smaller and it used to be easier to get noticed now, uh, easier to get noticed, but it's not like that no more. You're sitting here telling me, oh, well, you at the top, why are you fucking with me? Bro, because I'm at the bottom. And if you talk shit about me, I'm going to beat your ass with motherfucking words. Well, he defend himself. Because I'm a rapper. Yeah, he defend himself. I'm not going to get mad at it. Dude, No Life Shack gave you the first round. Am I going to get mad as fuck? Oh, wow. You and did? be like, oh, I don't F with him anymore. I don't F with No Life Shack. No, fool. It's his YouTube channel. I didn't know that. That man could get on there and say whatever the fuck he wants. But he's doing it the right way. He's an unbiased reaction channel. All right. So I'm going to stop it right there. Because I see where this is going. The battle... It's supposed to be a rap battle, but it sounds like Screwface and his team are taking this beyond rap. I ain't gonna lie. I listened to... I was actually... I pay attention to the songs. I don't just react just because, but I listened to the substance. It was a lot of race-driven lyrics. And in my opinion, like it's not even that deep. For real, for real. But if you got your brother like in the back drop, you know what I'm saying? With all this added to it yeah you might want to talk to your peoples and i know this is an old battle but i'm just putting my little two cent it, it, it and the battle should never get that far bro it's just it's a rap battle it's entertainment it's to get the fans what they want you know what i'm saying it's to give them that entertainment to let them you know what i'm saying watch something that's worth watching and once you take the battle to the next level to where you like you make it to where it's beyond rap and nobody don't care about what you talking about no more we're going uh, we gonna to obviously be uninterested. And, yeah, I can see where this battle is about to go, though. So, man, um, shout out to Chris Chandler, man. Like, I appreciate you for telling me to check this before I go into this third round. Because I know we got two more, three and four. But it should always stick to rap, bro. If it's a rap battle, just stick to the rap. And if you just can't match the opposing sides, bars and just bow out bro it is i don't know man. but other than that thank y'all next video you already know what it is we in the third round yeah you know i mean yeah you know i mean you know what i mean i just yeah i'm glad to be here oh by the way we we hit 1800 i told we getting close to 2000 we coming 200 more we're gonna hit 2k trust and believe we're gonna make it bro i promise you oh and by the way if y'all don't know my birthday is coming up soon. So, be on the lookout. I might do a little birthday video. I don't know. We'll see. So, I'm going to see you on the next one.